Hi there. Today I want to talk to you about the inverse square law and what that has to do with the stars. Let's go! The professional guessers at NASA tell us that the closest star to Earth is Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is a very distant 25 trillion miles away from Earth. Now before we go any further, I want to ask you, do you know how long 1 trillion seconds is? You guessed it. 1 trillion seconds is 31,709 years. 25 trillion seconds is 792,745 years. So to put that in perspective, if you were to travel one mile every second, it would take you 792,745 years just to get to Proxima Centauri. Now, since we have a pretty good understanding on how vast of a distance 25 trillion miles is, I want to talk about the inverse square law of light. In physics, the inverse square law of light states that when you double your distance, the intensity of the light source is one quarter of what it was at your original distance. If you triple the original distance, it is one ninth the original intensity. If you go 10 times further away than what you originally started, the intensity of the source would be one one hundredth of the original intensity. Because light, no matter what the source is shaped like, spreads out over distance. This same exact law applies to radiation. So, taking these laws of physics into consideration, do you really think we would still be able to see the light of the stars at that distance? Do you think the light from that distance would be intense enough to be weakened at such an accelerated rate and still be observable here on Earth? And that's just the closest star. Mintaka, a star in Orion's belt, is 1,239 light years away from Earth. One light year is 5.88 trillion miles, so that puts Mintaka a total of 7.2 quadrillion miles away from Earth. I mean, honestly, does it make more sense that the light from these stars and the light and radiation from the sun defy all laws of physics? Or does it make more sense that the sun and stars are much closer than what NASA tells us? Just think about it. But the main thing is, is Jesus loves you, and so do I. Even though you call me crazy.